this again. Negotiations right. are now underway between Abilene school leaders and contractors following construction bids that were more than just a little bit over budget. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez was at a meeting to talk about that tonight and has more in this report. The item at the top of the agenda for the Abilene ISD school board was a several million dollar discussion. When in fact I should have been telling people we're looking at a $42 million project. The board unanimously accepted the rankings of three companies that offered to build the Career and Technical Education Center named The Lift. The bids ranged from $43 million to almost $45 million, with the top-ranked offer coming from Imperial Construction out of Fort Worth. The only problem? The least expensive proposal is roughly $7 million more than the $30 million set aside from the 2018 bond election and the additional $5 million coming from a fund balance. There are a lot of great things happening in Abilene and across the state that are driving the construction market to higher costs. AISD Superintendent Dr. David Young says outside factors like labor shortages are partly to blame for these inflated bids. However, in order to get to negotiate those prices down with contractors, the board first had to accept the rankings. Disappointed, maybe, but you know, not undeterred. Scott McLean is the Associate Superintendent of Operations at AISD, and now that the board has accepted the bid rankings, he and other leaders can now get to the particulars with builders of how to get their prices within budget, wasting no time at all now that the eyes have had it. Actually, they're calling tonight. Oh, wow. Well, okay. they're, they're calling on their way home. And if a decent price can't be reached with any of the three companies, it could be back to the drawing board for the Lyft Center, pushing back its expected completion by the 2021 school year. However, Superintendent Dr. Young is skeptical matters will come to that. I don't think we're going to end up in that scenario. I just want to be very clear about that. I believe we'll be able to get where we need to get. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. No bid was accepted in tonight's meeting. That decision will be made next month. All right.